All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. And this video is all about planets that signify relationships, right? So everybody likes to have meaningful relationships in their life, right? So the planet that is responsible for relationships is basically the first ranking. I'll be giving it for Venus. The beautiful Venus is the planet of relationships, love and understanding. And also planet Moon also signifies relationships because Moon is a benefic planet and the Venus is also a benefic planet. So Moon is the planet of mind, thoughts and understanding. Wherever there is an attraction towards any individual, wherever the relationship needs to be formed, there should be a trust, there should be the you know mindset, uh, what you say, uh, the mindset has to be in sync with uh, with whomsoever you want to uh, have a relationship, right? It can be a business partnership as well. It can be a legal relationship in a marriage. So all for all these uh, you know events, basically for all the attributes related to relationship affairs, planet Venus signifies um, in a major part of uh, uh, you know activities because people who have strong Venus in their birth chart, they'll have a lot of meaningful relationship. And most importantly, if at all Venus is stronger in the male birth chart, then he will be getting a lot of support from the female figures in his life, even from his sister, from his cousins, cousin sisters, or even from the spouse in the male's birth chart. The spouse will be acting as a great support for this person. In fact, for more, most of the celebrities that we have been seeing, the TV, uh, the TV actors, actresses, no celebrities, the people who are into the media industry, their supporting person will be their own spouse. So for all these people, Venus will be very stronger in their birth chart. And also the Navamsa chart has to be checked. The placement of Venus has to be determined to, to find out how the relationship will be after the marriage. Because the D9 chart, the Navamsa chart will be activated after the marriage or after the age of 32. Okay, after the age of 32, the Navamsha chart also will be, activate, uh, will be activated. So we have to see the Lagna chart and also we have to see the Navamsha chart as well. Okay, and the second thing that we need to observe is planet Moon. Moon signifies the thoughts that you'll be having, whether you'll be able to mentally uh, you know, cope up with all kinds of challenges and obstacles that are coming across in your journey can be seen from the placement of Moon in your birth chart. Moon signifies a lot of, uh, you know, Moon is also considered as the planet of, uh, you know, uh, traveling for the people. A lot of people, uh, their jobs might be involved in, with, res with respect to traveling and all that. For all those people, if at all Moon is favor in your birth chart, then the traveling becomes successful. You'll be gain gaining a lot of business relationships across the borders. Okay. Once you cross the borders, it will become a foreign country for you. Correct. So for all the foreign relations and all that planet Moon, plays a major role. If at all you want to get money from the foreign countries can also be seen from the placement of moon. Moon in the 10th house, moon in the 12th house, moon, in, moon even in the 9th house signifies you'll be gaining success through foreign travel. All right. And similar way, Venus in the 12th house, Venus in the 9th house, Venus in the 10th house and Venus in the 7th and 5th house signifies that you'll be having meaningful relationships in your house, in your, in your life. All right. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. So mainly to summarize Venus and Moon or the planets that signifies relationships. All right. So please book for the consultation. Once you book the consultation, the link is mentioned in the description section. Once I get an order, I'll be able to help you with the complete analysis pertaining to your birth chart. All right. So thank you and stay tuned.